Earth has went through many changes over the course of its 4.5 billion years of lifetime. And we know the timeline of important events with lots of evidence through the inspection and dating of old rocks and old materials. So we uncovered many big secrets of the past. But can we uncover the secrets of the future? Turns out there are many things which we can predict accurately. So let's go into the future, one billion years into the future, and try to spend a day in this future Earth and see what has changed. So it is very interesting to know that a day is not going to be 24 hours, rather more like 28 to 29 hours since the Earth's rotation is slowing down. Meaning, every day, a day on Earth is getting longer by a tiny fraction. So, looking at Earth from space, one billion years into the future, a drastic difference would already be apparent. There would be no oceans. It would all look like a wasteland. This is all because the sun is getting brighter and temperatures would eventually reach around 70 to 100 Celsius in one billion years making all of the water slowly evaporate. Continents would be apparent as their outer shape would be visible, but the shape of the continents would have changed many times by that time, and by that time tectonic plates would also stop, meaning continents would stop moving. And finally landing onto the surface, it would feel like you're landing on another planet. The temperatures would not be bearable at all, as well as the pressure in the atmosphere. It likely will be all different. And oxygen would almost be completely depleted, so you would need an oxygen tank to breathe properly and a spacesuit to walk through this hell. There would not be oxygen because there would not be anything alive, including plants and seaweed which previously produced oxygen. This is all because, well, water would be gone. The sky likely will not even be blue due to different composition. Likely it is going to be more on the gray or brown side. And the atmosphere would all be very moist due to the water vapor that escaped from the oceans. Looking at the sun, it would be a lot brighter. You would need protection to even look at the surface. And you would go blind if you looked at the sun directly for a few minutes without eye protection. The surface would likely be dry gray or brown soil with lots of rocks. And going to the old ocean shore, the basin of the old ocean would be apparent. It would look a lot flatter than the surface. But all in all, if you were put in such future Earth, unless somebody told you, you likely would not have an idea that you are on Earth. Except that maybe our moon would give it away. But our moon would be a lot more distant from Earth and would seem a lot smaller. So as you are moving through this dead Earth, humans would likely be a thing of the far past in such a distant future. Either we would have moved on onto another star system, or we would have gone extinct. The things we left would be buried by the soil by a couple of tens of hundreds of meters. All of the things we left would be completely forgotten. All of our efforts, mistakes and wars would not have some actual importance. They would all seem petty in the long run. Another intelligent species that would innovate might even arise a couple of times after humans, so we would not be anything that special. As you would be looking at this dry, dead, hell-like surface, it would be a bit sad knowing that this is where and how it ends. A very slow but brutal death. Of course by death I mean the end of life, a very important characteristic of Earth. But through all of those billions of years of life evolving and getting better, it would need to stop at one point. The universe would continue on, likely expanding, and the stars will be creating new Earth-like planets, all fresh and starting out the similar way our planet did. But the chapter of life on planet Earth would finally end. And here we humans are at one point in such gigantic history of Earth, puzzling out the future and the past.